Welcome back. We continue with question interpretation to prepare you for the upcoming examination. And this time we still remain under the lady with a beard. And this time we are going to talk about satire. This is Invictus Forum. Subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Invictus Forum, share, like, and leave us a comment. Satire. It's a form of criticism with the intention to insult, to hurt. What does Alobode satirize in the lady with a beard? He satirizes the oppressive nature of patriarchal societies towards women. It should be noted that most African societies are very patriarchal in nature and give much importance to male children. Women, therefore, there are certain things that women are not supposed to do. Among them, women are not supposed to beat drums. Women are not supposed to live at the entrance of villages. Women do not have the right to inheritance. And that explains the reason why a mother refuses to throw the key in the forest, as tradition demands. Because Wobe cannot inherit her mother's compound, and Wobe's children are born of a foreigner. It also explains the reason why she decides to build, to dig the grave in the center of the compound, so as to deter strangers from entering or grabbing the land. The beating of the drum becomes a source of conflict. As the men, the young boys want to incarnate Mwanko, if not for the timely intervention of Sango Mesumbe, who uses his wisdom to calm the boys down. Alobwede also satirizes the exploitation of men based on greed, using Mwankum, which is a dreaded cult juju. The least fault that an individual commits and Mwankum is incarnated, the individual has to pay fine. Kill other a goat or any other animal and give drinks to the men to eat. During funerals, men enjoy most of the food and the drinks. In the same case, when children fall in the brook of the serpent, a sacrifice has to be performed to pacify the serpent deity. There is also satire on the impartiality with which the people in Atiyek handle matters. We are made to understand that every time that a Made does something, it is amplified. It becomes the talk of the day. And to bear spills food in front of a Wang and Ames compound, the women come very early in the morning. And this puts a Made in anger asking the women to go back, reproaching them to go back and do, carry on with their chores. For the spilling of food by a child is of no significance. In the same way, we are made to understand that many children have fallen in the brook of the serpent and their parents have not paid a fine to pacify the serpent deity, and no news has even been heard about it. But when Tubek falls in the brook of the serpent, it becomes the talk. And Pele, another good-hearted villagers, including Ahone, convenes a Made to perform the sacrifice in order to move to remove his daughter from harm's way. 
because some wizards and witches can use that as an opportunity to hurt the young girl. Alobwede also satirizes ingratitude and hypocrisy on the part of Moabak women. Towards Mechane, we are made to understand that this is a lady whose daughter, Wobe, visits her and showers her with provisions, which she does not keep or consume all by herself. She shares everything that is brought to her with all the other ladies in the village, highlighting generosity. Nevertheless, in her dire need, when she falls sick, it is ironical that these women do not even know that she is sick because she is completely neglected. Had it been that her sisters had not arrived, she might have died in her house and eaten, and her cups eaten by the dogs. This explains a mother's anger and her initial decision that the women will not take part in the funeral, if not for the intervention of her honey, who wants that their sister should be given a befitting burial. The attitude of these women in Moabak highlights ingratitude and neglect. Alobwede also satirizes gossiping, which is a way of life. The women in the village gossip about a mother who stands far above them. They are jealous of her hard work, self-reliance, and independent spirit. And this is the reason why they want to bring her down with her tail between her legs. But she stands firm. He also satirizes infidelity in married women, as it is hinted that a duke might be an unfaithful woman to her husband and lazy. Alobwede also satirizes the negligence of the younger generation towards their parents. Wobe is married to a Nigerian, to an Igbo man, Mr. Okori, and she lives in affluence in Tombe, neglecting her mother, who is constantly sick. Had it not been for the timely arrival of her aunts, her mother would have died miserably in her hurt. This explains the anger that a mother has towards Mr. Okori. The anger that a mother has towards the men of Moabak, especially the young man to whom this lady had been betrothed at a tender age, who could not hold to his bride, and the anger that he has towards Wobe, reproaching her of neglecting her mother, highlighting conflict. Lastly, Aloboed satirizes the arrogance and stubbornness of some women who think that they can stand above societal rules. Such women, like Emade, who spearheads her stance on feminism. She stands tall and challenges manhood in Moabak, refusing to leave her husband compound, despite genuine reasons that had been raised. Mwankom is incarnated behind the house, to which she is not part of the cult. 
They want her to be relocated to the middle of the village so that she should be taken care of because she has a baby. Yet, she stands firm, pushing the men to capitulate. She challenges Eduke and her cohorts who refuse to take part in the meat that she had prepared, calling her a beggar. She challenges the men in Moabak, calling them weaklings. She digs the grave in the center of the compound and insists that her sister will be buried there, despite being against the tradition of the people. She beats the drum, lifts it at the peak when the people are enjoying the music because the men are envious of the praises that are levied or showered on her by the women. She decides to take a long journey just to find a female soothsayer to unravel the mystery behind her foot stubbing. Ironically, a love what the PM makes her to understand that a woman still remains a woman. She wants to be loved. She sheds tears. And she also has her fears that her daughter's life may be put in danger. And so despite her strong will, she succumbs to the will of the people as she performs the sacrifice to the serpent deity when to bear falls in the brook of the serpent. See you in our next video. Subscribe, follow us.